One of the most interesting pieces that we've learned over the years is that the closest biomechanically, right, to, to major league elites is kids under 11 years old. Like that's the closest wow. movement patterns to, to the elites because they don't have any pre like things become a thing when everybody does the opposite. So why does everybody get yelled at to throw from over the top? Because all little kids throw from here because it's natural and that's where they should throw from, right? The arm is supposed to unwind around the trunk. Like it's supposed to capture the plane of force and energy. What determines arm slot should not be the arm itself, but the angle of the trunk at landing. Right. It's just about taking the tornado and, and being able to tilt it early. So like if you watch Greg Maddox throw from up here and you put the camera view up there, he actually throws the same way Randy Johnson does. He just does it with a different angle in his back. But the, one of the biggest reason for arm injuries is that people tell kids all to throw from here. Kids are literal, right? So they don't understand how to create that right movement. So now their body is going this way and their arm is going this way. And instead of whipping, it's, it's catapulting. The reason that squash the bug is there and turn your back foot is because no little kids turn their back foot. Well, the reason that they don't is because the leg is not supposed to turn the pelvis. The pelvis is supposed to turn the leg. Energy works from the inside out. And when, you have a high, when you're a kid and you have a higher degree of range of motion and your pelvis turns, right, your back foot needs to stay anchored, right? It has to pull slack out and stabilize the opposite direction. Think if I have a pickle jar and I want to open it, right, and I try to turn the bottom to open the top, that doesn't work. If I try to turn the top and I let the bottom get pulled with it, that also doesn't work. Right, your two options are hold the bottom stable so you can turn the top and create torque force up here, or to go in opposite directions, which is ideal. Right, it's the same exact way the nature of the upper body and the lower body work. So as soon as you start telling kids to turn their back foot and turn their back leg, now they're they, now all of a sudden oh their back drags and their elbow they're not able to produce force in the same type of short window, and that creates all those energy leaks. So at the youngest of ages, that's when a lot of the bad things start getting introduced. And the earlier it is, the less bandwidth they have and the better they are. Like legit, if you look at little kids in a lab, it's the closest to watching Mike Trout. It's the closest to watching, you know, Max Scherzer or Tatis or any of them because they don't have all those preconceived notions. We were already designed with the ability to rotate and strike and rotate and throw. That's how we were built. Like what we are fully capable of that. And when we think we know more than the body and how we were designed, that's when we start to run into issues both at the professional level and at the youth level. So